Hey there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel, I'm Argent Leo and today we're playing Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1. I'm commenting on a TM Elam victory right now. I do play on a somewhat slow internet connection, we've also not got an epic server in our country, so... Today I'm going to explain to you guys what I do in order to combat those negatives and actually get wins. So, I suppose I confused this play on my landing because I did reach quite a bit. But GG's player and um, I'm just going to sort out my health. I should be able to get full health with all those um, slip battles. I am playing on controller and um, I don't edit as much. Um, because of the, the server speed, it does affect my editing. So I do normally play with um, full build pieces. I may edit sometimes. Um, but generally not. So okay, my weapon rule basically is to use fast firing weapons. I do use a, combina a combination of three to four weapons so that I don't have to reload that often. I do prefer using weapons without sights because I find that the performance of the character isn't influenced that much as if the weapon has got a sight on it. Um, I suppose with the augments, because the augments need to improve the weapon and by improving the weapon they obviously enhance the character to some degree. So I avoid that by actually just using non-sighted weapons, trying to get up close to players and combating them with non-sighted weapons, because obviously the sight won't be an issue if the player is close to you when you're fighting them. So okay, there's a player close by. And there's a player entering with the zip line, so let's try and eliminate that player. Gigi's player, so I got that player by surprise, he obviously didn't see me up here. Okay, this player is using trampolines. And I'm using the automatic cleansing shotgun. It's, uh, for my play style, it works a lot better than the pump shotgun and I'm going to explain to you why shortly, just to eliminate this player. So I've got an issue with the pump shotgun. So because of my internet speed and the server, us not having a server in our country, what happens when I use the pump shotgun is that not only is there a delay between shots, but also when I press the trigger on the... Um, pump shotgun there's another delay it's sort of if I can explain it as a a stickiness um, on, on the shotgun where there's a delay when firing and there's a delay when reloading so that makes it difficult for me to actually predict when it's going to fire and hit the player and what happens is I miss a lot of my shots because of that so I actually do not use the pump shotgun at the moment Things may change in the future, like in previous seasons where the, the weapons were adjusted, you know, for different um, environment settings and so forth, yada yada. Anyway, the weapons have improved in previous seasons and currently the shotgun on slow internet connections, I found is, it's nonsense, I, I, I just can't use it. So... I'm going to explain what I do more in detail during the course of the game as I actually do the things that I do so that you guys can get a, uh, you know, a good idea of how I play my game. Obviously, there are players with similar, um, similar scenarios regarding internet and the servers and they probably, you guys probably play in a different way. I'm just explaining what I do. And um, it's working for me because I generally, if if I'm if I want to win a game, I generally do get the win. So this was a ten Elam victory royale, and let me talk you guys through what happened in this game. I I don't actually like making videos like this, although this is my third one because it's rather difficult to explain, you know, everything in detail and the the the, the number of different things that I do to combat um, the server scenario 
Um, it's, it's quite a bit and I don't think I'm going to actually touch on all of them in this video. Right now I'm just looking at what is, which is the closest medallion and which is the best play to make for that medallion. And okay, I'm in the storm now. <laughs> Let's get out of the storm. And there's a fight to my right. So let's go and see if we can get an Elam there. If we quick enough, we can get two Elams. So I should be able to surprise one of those players and get an easy Elam and then combat the other player. Okay, I got that player unsuspectingly. And it could be that I got that play between reloads. But GG's players. Okay, so another thing that I like to do is I like to get epic or gold weapons. I do not all use the augment tables. And um, the reason for that is, like I was saying, that I get better performance with the non-sighted weapons. And I also go for the legendary and epic weapons. And normally when you pick those weapons up, they, as good as that weapon's going to be, they generally got some sort of attachment or augment to it. So if that's part of your loot route, you know, there's different places where you can get them. We all know that um, the, we all know our way of the highest spots. I'm referring to the, the resistance and the anti-resistance and obviously where to get mythic weapons because those are the type of weapons that you want to have at the end of the game for the final fight. And I do normally incorporate those in my loot route. But if you don't, if you feel that you're not good enough to actually, you know, you, you struggle to get the mythic weapons, and you struggle with the competition at the at the res resistance places then you could do what i'm doing right now is i'm carrying i'm currently carrying four weapons so the advantage of carrying four weapons is that you don't have to reload as fast so you can actually rush uh rush rush a player and actually pummel them if they need to reload during the firefight, then you're going to have an advantage because you're going to be having um, another fresh weapon that you can use to fight. So that would mean that you need weapons that shoot a lot of bullets. So that would then... Okay, I did something silly, yeah? Just get out of the storm and then I'll continue with what I was explaining to you guys. Okay, so wh what I actually mean is like a sniper shoots one bullet and then you gotta reload it. The pump shotgun shoots a shell and then you gotta wait a second or two before you can actually use it again. So with ARs and SMGs, you don't have to. And if you're rushing in, if you rush a player using those weapons, you're going to confuse that player and they're gonna panic and you don't have to reload, so you can just rush in with those weapons in this current season and finish those players off. Oh nice, Lama. Okay, just getting my builds right. I don't want to put builds up now because I will probably attract another player, so I'll put the builds up as soon as I open the Lama. Okay, now I'll put the builds up to catch whatever is going to go that way. Okay, nice. So I do want the... Blowberry Fizz. So my playstyle does incorporate the Flowberry Fizz, the Shockwave Grenade, sometimes the Grappler, although I don't like the Grappler that much because um, of the, the lag with the internet, you actually lag more when you're using the Grappler. When the, play, when the character grapples from place to from one location to the other, there is a lag and then Sometimes you don't really know where the play is for a split second or two and that could cause you the game. So I avoid the grappler as well. 
but the shockwave grenades help me in two ways. So I've got four guns or three three guns and I'm using them to eliminate the player. Once my guns are empty, I shockwave away or shockwave higher to either reload a gun um, so that I can continue a fight or I shockwave away, reload all of the weapons and then attack that player again. Okay, there's a player going into that house. There normally is an epic web um, chest that spawns right over there, but it's been opened already. So that one always spawns there. And then also there's a red guard, and that guard has the key card and there's a vault nearby. So you could leave this area with a full loadout of epic and legendary weapons if you're lucky. So okay, this was not the player that opened their chest. But yes, while the med kit is there, we might as well use it. And now we're gonna have a look and see if that guard is still there. And hopefully gets get some bet better weapons. I'm hoping to get an epic or legendary frenzy shotgun. So like I was saying to you guys, there's this loot um, run that you could do where you, you know you place all these um, these places where you get these good weapons in your loot route, or you can just run with four weapons and that would help you to reload less and you can play a much more aggressive game and get more elims that way. Okay, nothing there. Okay. That's something I would sometimes take, but I'm not going to take that, that gun today. Um, it's an epic AR, so with those weapons, you can actually um, eliminate the player with three to four shots, so that's a good idea. Um, but the, the weapon layout that I've got right now, it, as you can see, you know, it, it just helps the movement of the character a little bit more. And I'm fine with that in this game. Maybe in another game, in, 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 in a different game, I would have taken that AR, but not today. So we'll carry on to that island, maybe see what's going on in, the, on, in that island. I've still got space for better weapons. But I do want to really improve that shotgun. Mm-hmm. Okay, nothing going on down there. So I love doing this. I actually like to edit with a tool. <laughs> I got into the habit because sometimes my, my edits will glitch, but the door seems to be quite constant. And I just like to emphasize that I, I really don't like making these sort of videos because it does sound like I'm complaining and I'm not. It's, you know, it's just one of those things. But I am interested to see how many of you guys are sort of are interested in this sort of content and you know, do play on a challenging server situation and would like to know um, more about this style of, of, of playing when you don't have to build as much and rely on building too much. There are other ways as well. And you could still be a challenging combatant by following certain rules. Okay, let's eliminate this player. Okay, he's weak. Shotgun should be good. So yes, you 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 will get shot. <laughs> but there's there's ways of you know you weaken the player and then you jump into the fight into a 50-50. You do expect to take damage, but because you weaken the player more, you you can afford to take some damage. 
So that can be like a short term strategy to use sometimes. Maybe for the last player. Or in a situation like this where I'm only fighting against one player. So now we're looking for, well, healing items. I don't want to use the, the flow berry now. Okay, great stuff. So here's a med kit. I can fix the, the health. So with this video, I'm basically just trying to, you know, get players that, that, that feel like they're not competent players to look at the game in a different way. Um, the building, the, the box fights, okay with the box fights, that's a, I suppose how you would be able to, 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 to make cash on, in Fortnite, but if you just want to play to enjoy the game and to get some wins, then there's other ways of playing this game that doesn't involve you being a crazy builder, playing with claw, yada yada, that does work. Um, but yeah, if your fingers don't go that way, like my fingers just don't go that way. I tried playing on keyboard. Okay, here's another exploit that I use. So that player is chopping you through a wall. I would shoot from the other side and eliminate that player. Because he'd still have his pickaxe out. So, you know, that's, that's something that you can consider it is sort of an exploit, but not an ugly one. <laughs> And another thing that I do is I sometimes place a bolt and I would build, I would shoot through my own bolt in order to get the play off guard. And if I'm attacked by a player that's using a grappler, I would normally box up. It slows down the gameplay. Like right now I'm not comfortable with, with what is going on there. I've got Flowberry, so... I'm just gonna reset. This slows down the game, gives you a chance to clear your head, think, look around, see what your next move is. Because that player did seem a little bit aggressive. And it seemed as if that player did have the the NPC of that area. Oh, there's a player shooting at me. So I'm placing these ramps just to break the line of sight, avoid getting shot. To just standard ramp rush. And, and I can use that powerful legendary weapon that just takes a few shots in order to eliminate the player. I see the other player up there on the hill. It's coming down. So it isn't the play with the NPC because I didn't see the NPC. And okay, it's behind me. I thought for a second, okay, it's over there. There's another player running behind him. So okay, that was the player with the NPC because the NPC also just got eliminated. So oh, this player had a lot of medallions and yeah I need to get out of the storm others that have picked up all of those gold uh, and mythic weapons but yeah I need to get out of the storm because this is quite a strong storm and I have got the flow berry and there's one more player that I need to find that was in the storm down there probably <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen this is how I play Fortnite Battle Royale and I do get wins. There's a number of different um, exploits. I wouldn't call them exploits. They're just rules that I use like um, firing in front of players that, that are running in certain directions. It, it depends on the situation. Um, but even if you don't have an epic server in your country and even if you're not a good builder. You can still play Fortnite Battle Royale and you can still get wins. I hope this video has been inspirational to you guys that are struggling to play Fortnite. And um, I have tried playing box fighting and I do know that um, players there can be extremely aggressive and they can say hurtful things to you and stuff like that. 
And if you're losing in Battle Royale regularly, for whatever reason, you're going to feel bad. But um, if, if you're not a good uh, box builder, if you're not a good um, builder in general, then consider other, other ways of, of playing the game. Um, I mean, just, just consider the way I play the game, you know? And then you can, you can build on that. You can, you can find your own style of playing and you can continue and you can improve. Um, and who knows, you can move to keyboard if you're not on keyboard already and, you know, sky's the limit. Well, I hope this video has been inspirational and has been helpful to you. I'm Arjun Cleo. You've been playing for, we've been playing Fortnite Battle Royale. And if you do enjoy content like this, leave some comments in the comment section, subscribe, whatever. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.